Hey, what's shaking? It's Alex Greenwood, host of PR After Hours here on Anchor FM. You know, I've been podcasting off and on since 2006, and I've got to tell you something. Back in the old days when it was all stone knives and bear skins and a string and Dixie cups, podcasting was a real challenge. Fast forward to today, and it's still got a lot of challenges, especially for folks who don't have time to set up a home studio or go to a studio or things like that. So I found Anchor FM, and I love it, love it, love it for how easy it is to create my own podcast here on this channel called PR After Hours. I love how you can put everything together so simply right from your desktop or your phone. And there's so many great creation tools that allow you to record and edit your pod right there. And I, I just can't recommend that part alone enough. Also, though, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from this, too, with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. That's the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And we'll see you back at PR After Hours. Welcome back to PR After Hours. I'm your host, Alex Greenwood, your virtual cocktail shaker, a cocktail of news, tips, advice, factoids, dirty jokes. Sorry, no, actually, no dirty jokes here, but plenty of information focused on providing you with information that will help you not only promote your business, but run a smoother business. And that's why we're offering a lot of productivity hacks lately. I've got one that I've got to share with you. I did it again. I did it the other day. I was on the phone with a friend who's also a strategic partner in my business, chatting on the phone about something, and then I did it, and it's rude of me, and I did it, but I thought, well, while I'm chatting with him, I will check something on my email, and then I found myself reading the email and him asking me a question, and I just realized I'd lost 25 or 30 seconds of what he said, and I had no idea, and I had to just stop and apologize and say, that was so rude of me to multitask while we were talking. I apologize. So, you know, if... um, you're not familiar with multitasking, it's it's kind of, uh, as I'm reading in an article on Forbes that I'll share with you on the show notes, the link, it's a, a loaded term, um, but this uh, c- column I'm reading here, he says, I'll limit its meaning to the act of undertaking more than one task at the same time or during the same work session in the name of super efficiency. For example, uh, you might be talking with a customer by phone, well this sounds familiar, it's what I just said, right, while completing a form for a regulatory body on a computer and scanning receipts to be submitted with an expense report or something, right? I've done that. I actually, the other day, although I will say it was a more mindless thing, I was scanning old photos while I was talking to a friend, but even then I realized that my attention was wandering and that I wasn't fully engaged in the conversation. And if you can't be fully engaged in a conversation with somebody, you know, you should call them back later when you can be, right? Either that or you stop doing what you're doing and focus on the conversation at hand. And multitasking could be a lot of things. You know, there's people who typically say things like, well, I can check my email while I'm talking to somebody. Not only is that kind of rude, like people who have their smartphone out at the dinner table or at the lunch or breakfast table, Eh, you know, I don't know. I'm not crazy about that. I understand in the world of business we need to be hyper-connected, but if I have to uh, be in a situation where I need to be hyper-connected, you know, m- most of my notifications go to my smartwatch so I can discreetly kind of glance at that in case there's something urgent happening or a call coming through. But typically, I don't like to multitask when I'm meeting with clients or colleagues or friends. I like to focus on the conversation at hand, and I think that's something that we can all do better job of. Besides that, you're more efficient when you don't multitask. You know, a lot of stuff in this article that I'm really fascinated by, and he makes some points here that I think are great. It's terrible for business. Rather than aid productivity, multitasking hamstrings it by as much as 40%. And he points back to some studies about this. It's trying for employees. Multitasking increases stress while reducing achievement and meaningfulness. It's treacherous for brains. Multitasking impairs cognitive ability and lowers IQ. Oh my gosh. I don't need any help in the lowering the IQ department. So I'm thinking that uh, multitasking is not a great idea. You know, I'm very critical of a lot of facets of modern life these days. In fact, I go on TV about once a month on a local CBS affiliate on their program in the morning to talk about social media tips. And I find myself often giving a very similar tip, which is social media is a tool, but use it less. 
And I think that goes hand in hand with multitasking. We'll do another episode about my thoughts on social media. But I, I wanted to bring this uh, to your attention about multitasking. I'm going to link in the show notes to an article from Forbes called How Multitasking Erodes Productivity and Dings Your IQ. It's written by Kurt Steinhorst. I think it's a very good article. I just lightly quoted from it here. But just the takeaways today on this tip for your productivity, focus on what you're doing. Make that task the most important thing you're doing and give it all your focus. Personally, in the mornings, that's when I'm my sharpest, so I like to have my cup of coffee, get in, and I try to knock down the tasks that maybe by the end of the day, I just don't have the mental or uh, emotional energy to face, so that's one thing to do. But the thing I'm really focusing on, though, is, as I've mentioned previously in other uh, episodes of this show, is I am not racing to check email every five minutes. That's breaking up my, my focus, and it's causing confusion, and it's causing stress, so I don't do that. By that same token, I try not to multitask. I try not to be doing so many things at once that I don't do any of them well. Well, if you enjoyed this productivity tip, I I hope you'll show it a little love by sharing it on social media. Don't forget to follow us on the Twitter at OursPR. And, of course, I'm rattling the tip jar here and there. If you uh, find this podcast helpful, throwing a couple of bucks my way in the uh, tip jar here in the virtual bar is always welcome. And, of course, I want to hear from you. Do you have a question related to PR, business management, marketing, things like that? Well, go to Anchor FM through the link here in the show notes and sign up. It's free. And then record a message. It'll be sent to me, and I may just use it on an episode of the podcast. All right. Well, this is it for your virtual cocktail for today. I hope you'll check back with me soon. Looking forward to it. Until next time, I'm Alex Greenwood, and this is PR After Hours.